residents and visitors to the Kent Narrows had a chance to meet photographer Jay Fleming at the opening of his exhibit here at the Chesapeake Heritage Center. At the opening, the Kent Narrows Foundation hosted a book signing and reception. Local businesses and organizations have come together to sponsor the exhibit and book signing to raise funds for the Kent Narrows Foundation activities. The venue is provided courtesy of Queen Anne's County. And the event has been a success. We are really excited about the turnout. Um, all the restaurants from the Kent Narrows are here and it's been a great event. Uh, it's just great to see so many people here. It's a combination of residents, businesses, and even visitors who've come to celebrate working on the water. It's what we do here, it's who we are, and uh, the images are just fabulous, and the idea that this is celebrating the Chesapeake Bay and all of its waterways and tributaries and the way we work here is just fabulous. Jay was busy selling his book, so we didn't get a chance to interview him that night. However, over the summer, we talked to Jay about his book. I've been working on a, a project documenting the Chesapeake Bay seafood industry for the last three years. I decided to make the project into a book called Working the Water. And uh, the book is a 280-page coffee table style book that features a lot of watermen in Maryland and Virginia and specifically today we were shooting uh, clam dredgers and crab potters from Queen Anne's County working around the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Working the water highlights the individuals who make a living off of the Chesapeake Bay and also the businesses that depend upon the resources of the Chesapeake Bay. When I first started this in 2013, I, uh, you know, the more I shot, the more I learned about the subject matter and you know, I talked to people and through networking I was able to connect with a bunch of different people and it kind of just all came together uh, probably about 2014 when I had a you know, pretty diverse portfolio of images from the Chesapeake Bay seafood industry. So I've tried to include a lot of beautiful pictures of you know, iconic sunrises and different places along Chesapeake Bay but also images that will help tell the story of that particular seafood product um, whether it be crabs, oysters, fish, or clams, you know, to really give the reader a better appreciation for what they're looking at and also for what they're eating. The exhibit features select photos from the book displayed in large format. It will be here until November 10, 2016. In Chester, Mallory Drummond, QAC-TV.